Hello, world wanderers. Today on World in Days, we're taking a flight of discovery to a city sculpted by sea and sculptors alike. Sydney, Australia. From the awe-inspiring Sydney Opera House to the sun-kissed sands of Bondi Beach, prepare for a series of revelations that will redefine what you thought you knew about Sydney. In this video, not only will we share breathtaking views, but we'll also sprinkle in intriguing facts that even the locals might not know. Let's start our journey to Sydney. Our journey begins with Sydney's most famous landmarks, exploring its rich history and architectural marvels. From the Sydney Opera House to the historic Rocks District, we'll uncover the stories that shaped this city. Situated on Bennylong Point, the Sydney Opera House is one of the most recognizable buildings in the world. Designed by Danish architect Gian Otzen, this UNESCO World Heritage Site opened in 1973 and hosts over 1,500 performances annually. Take a guided tour to learn about its unique design, engineering challenges, and cultural significance. Did you know? The Opera House's sails are covered in over 1 million white tiles. From the architectural marvel of the Opera House, we stroll to the Rocks, Sydney's oldest neighbourhood. With its cobblestone streets and historic buildings, the Rocks tells the story of Sydney's early convict settlement. Visit the Rocks Discovery Museum to delve into the area's fascinating past including tales of the indigenous Gadigal people and European settlers. Next, we dine at the Glenmore Hotel, known for its rooftop bar for panoramic views of Sydney Harbour. Enjoy classic pub fare with a modern twist, like the famous Glenmore Burger or fish and chips, while soaking in the stunning harbour views. The hotel has been a staple in the rocks since 1921, and provides a great vantage point to admire the Sydney Harbour Bridge. In the afternoon, we tackle the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Opened in 1932, this iconic steel arch bridge is affectionately known as the Coat Hanger. For the adventurous, a bridge climb offers an exhilarating experience and unparalleled views of the city and harbour. Learn about the bridge's construction which employed 1,400 workers and used 6 million hand-driven rivets. We conclude our day with dinner at Aurea Restaurant. Located near the Opera House, Chef Matt Moran's menu features contemporary Australian cuisine with a focus on seasonal produce. Enjoy dishes like King George Whiting and Wagyu beef, paired with an extensive wine list. The restaurant offers stunning views of the Opera House and Harbour Bridge, creating a perfect dining ambience. Day 2 takes us from Sydney's famous beaches to its lush wildlife parks, ending with a culinary journey at Darling Harbour. Our second day begins at Bondi Beach, one of the most famous beaches in the world. Known for its golden sands and surf culture, Bondi is a haven for beach lovers. Take a swim, try surfing, or simply relax on the beach. Don't miss the Bondi Takugi Coastal Walk for stunning cliffside views and the chance to spot migrating whales between May and November. From the sun and surf of Bondi, we head to Taronga Zoo, set on the shores of Sydney Harbour, Opened in 1916, this zoo is home to over 4,000 animals from around the world. Highlights include the Sumatran Tigers, the Australian Walkabout, and the Seal Show. The zoo also plays a vital role in wildlife conservation and research. For lunch, we dine at the Taronga Zoo Cafe, offering a range of fresh, seasonal dishes and stunning views of the Sydney skyline and harbour. Enjoy a salad, sandwich, or a light meal while watching the bustling activity of the zoo and the beautiful harbour. In the afternoon, we take a ferry to Manly Beach, 
This scenic 30-minute ride offers spectacular views of the Sydney Harbour. Manly Beach is known for its laid-back vibe, water sports, and beautiful promenades. Explore the Manly Sea Life Sanctuary or simply relax by the ocean. The Corso, a pedestrian mall, is great for shopping and dining. Our day ends at Dulling Harbour, a vibrant waterfront area filled with dining options, entertainment, and nightlife. Enjoy dinner at a restaurant like Hurricane's Grill, known for its succulent ribs and steaks. The harbour's nighttime views are a perfect backdrop for a memorable meal. Darling Harbour also hosts frequent fireworks displays, especially on weekends. Our final day in Sydney blends culture, history, and stunning views. From the Art Gallery of New South Wales to the historic Queen Victoria Building. We begin our final day at the Art Gallery of New South Wales. Established in 1871, the gallery houses an extensive collection of Australian, European and Asian art. Highlights include works by Brett Whiteley, Sidney Nolan and the Aboriginal Art Collection. The gallery also offers free guided tours and hosts various exhibitions throughout the year. After immersing ourselves in art, we head to the Royal Botanic Garden, adjacent to the gallery. Founded in 1816, these gardens offer a peaceful retreat in the heart of the city. Explore the themed gardens, such as the Rose Garden and the Herb Garden. Enjoy a guided tour, or simply relax with a picnic. Don't miss the stunning views of the Opera House and Harbour Bridge from Mrs. McQuarrie's chair. Lunch is at Botanic House, located within the Royal Botanic Garden. Chef Lu Kuyen offers a menu inspired by Southeast Asian cuisine, with dishes like crispy pork belly and green papaya salad, set in a tranquil garden setting. The restaurant's serene environment makes it a perfect spot to unwind and enjoy the natural surroundings. Our exploration takes us to the Queen Victoria Building, a stunning example of Romanesque architecture completed in 1898. Once a bustling market, the QVB is now a premier shopping destination. Admire the intricate stained glass windows, grand staircase, and the famous royal clock, which chimes and displays scenes of English royalty every hour. As our journey nears its end, we find ourselves at the Sydney Tower Eye. Standing at 309 metres, it's the tallest structure in Sydney. The observation deck offers 360-degree views of the city, harbour and beyond. For a thrilling experience, try the Skywalk, a glass-floored platform at the top of the tower. Learn about Sydney's history and landmarks through the interactive displays and guides. Our final meal is at Benelong, located within the Sydney Opera House. Chef Peter Gilmore's menu celebrates Australian produce with dishes like mud crab and Berkshire pig jowl. The restaurant's stunning architecture and harbour views make it a fitting end to our Sydney adventure. The multi-level dining space offers a unique ambience, reflecting the Opera House's iconic design. When preparing for your adventure to Sydney, here are some essential travel tips to ensure your visit is as smooth and enjoyable as possible. From safety advice to exploring local cuisine, these tips will help you make the most of your time in this vibrant city. Keep your belongings secure, especially in crowded areas, and stay in well-lit places at night. Use reputable transport options for a safe experience. Discover neighborhoods like Newtown for its eclectic vibe and Paddington for boutique shopping and charming terraces. Sydney's culinary scene is diverse. Don't miss trying local seafood, Asian fusion dishes, and Australian classics like meat pies and lamingtons. Sydney's public transport system is extensive. Consider purchasing an Opal card for convenient travel on trains, 
buses and ferries. Horses value friendliness and politeness. Greet locals with a smile and be respectful of cultural sites and indigenous heritage. Help keep Sydney beautiful by disposing of litter properly and using reusable shopping bags and water bottles. Sydney is casual but stylish. Comfortable shoes are essential for walking and dress modestly when visiting religious or cultural sites. Popular attractions like the Opera House and Taronga Zoo can get busy. Book tickets in advance to save time and avoid long lines. By following these tips, you'll be well prepared to explore all that Sydney has to offer. Whether it's savouring local cuisine, navigating public transport, or enjoying seasonal events, these insights will help you make the most of your visit. Now that you have essential travel tips, let's talk about the best time to visit Sydney. Each season in Sydney offers something unique, so consider what experiences you're seeking when planning your trip. Summer in Sydney from December to February is perfect for beach lovers and outdoor activities, but it can be crowded and hot. Major events like Sydney New Year's Eve and Australia Day add to the festive atmosphere. Autumn from March to May offers mild weather and fewer tourists. It's an ideal time for outdoor activities and exploring Sydney's parks and gardens. Winter from June to August is cooler but still pleasant, with fewer crowds and lower accommodation prices. It's a great time to enjoy Sydney's indoor attractions and events like Vivid Sydney. Spring from September to November is one of the best times to visit Sydney. The weather is warm, gardens are in bloom, and the city hosts various festivals and outdoor events. When it comes to the best time to visit Sydney, each season offers its unique charm. However, the shoulder seasons of spring and fall are particularly pleasant, with mild weather, fewer crowds, and beautiful natural scenery. Whether you are drawn by the allure of sunny beaches, the tranquility of nature, or the vibrant city life, Sydney welcomes you with open arms any time of the year. Choosing the right time to visit can significantly enhance your experience, allowing you to enjoy Sydney's attractions and activities to the fullest. Now let's discuss some fun facts about the Sydney. The sales of the Sydney Opera House were inspired by segments of an orange, and it took 14 years to complete the construction. The Rocks was once a bustling port district filled with sailors, traders, and even convicts, adding to its rich and colorful history. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is the tallest steel arch bridge in the world, standing 134 meters above sea level, and its total length is 1,149 meters. Bondi Beach is home to the Bondi Icebergs Club, where you can swim in a saltwater pool overlooking the ocean, regardless of the season. Taronga Zoo offers a roar and snore overnight experience, where you can camp out and wake up to the sounds of the zoo animals. The name Manly was given by Captain Arthur Philip, who described the indigenous people he encountered there as manly in their behaviour. The Art Gallery of New South Wales features a prominent collection of art from the Heidelberg School, which is considered the beginning of Australian Impressionism. The Royal Botanic Garden is home to the Walimi Pine, a rare and ancient tree species discovered in Australia in 1994, often referred to as a living fossil. The Queen Victoria Building was nearly demolished in the 1950s, but was saved and restored to its former glory, preserving its architectural beauty. Sydney Tower I was originally named Centre Point Tower and has been a prominent feature of the Sydney skyline since its completion in 1981. And there you have it, our comprehensive guide to exploring Sydney. A city where every corner holds a new discovery and every moment is an opportunity for adventure. 
From the iconic landmarks to the stunning beaches and cultural treasures, Sydney is a destination that truly has it all. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Sydney with World in Days. We hope this guide inspires you to embark on your own adventure to this beautiful city. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow travelers. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep discovering the wonders of our world.